so morbidly obese that she filled the bathtub with her own chin sweat and lay in it to cool her core mass. I've started cutting. Welcome to episode number 13 of the Marty and Michael podcast. We're coming at you straight out of the... We're coming at you. Straight out of Compton. Like a, uh, a snake that's been coiled up by its musician master. We're drunk. And we're ready to strike you in the heart. We had a few too many bevies. Michael's had a lot. Michael... Uh, you had a bottle. I had a... You're getting into I've my had, supply. I've had a bottle over... Aaron's the, here. Over, over the last got 24 hours. We've got Aaron here. Aaron's actually Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, fir- the first thing he saw was Michael pissing and shitting on the ground. That is true. <laughs> As he walks in, I've got my asshole spread. I've shut already because why not? And then as he walks in, I'm dripping from my shorts because I'm pissing. Dis- with my- disgusting. No, it's DJ. We're here for a uh, business <laughs> professional. Business professional and Michael pooed. It's... <laughs> We're All collaborating weekend. podcast talks. <sighs> well, Aaron, actual. What has happened on the weekend? Dude, I don't... I, I was sober this weekend. Yeah. I went the whole weekend without a drop of alcohol, apart from Sunday afternoon I had two beers. Yeah, I had uh, mushrooms with a certain someone. Can't say because I don't want to... Inflict. It's you know, infliction. You, know, you know who it is. You a little wink at the camera. <laughs> Very strict. There <laughs> Oh, no. It's okay, I'll fix it. And that's how you work with green screens. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you work with green screens. Even it out, fuckhead! Shit, Do you reckon that's fucked it? Nah. Connor, fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm fucking bleeding. <laughs> so um, we went on a bush walk because uh, the rules have been relaxed. We're allowed to go for a walk. And we took the walk that we've been doing for the last 10 years. And 10 years ago, it was pretty easy because we were a lot fitter. We were a lot slimmer. We were a lot healthier. And we used to fly through this bush walk. We did the bush walk on Saturday and <coughs> Sunday. And oh my God, we nearly died. My shoulder popped out. Yeah, you were being Broncos. Matt Brown was like, was nearly died. There were, there were, there were moments where, where the leading group was like, we have to leave him behind. He's slowing, he's, we have to leave Matt behind. We discussed that, but we didn't. And so it was, it's like, it's 10 years. It wasn't 10 years. It was, yeah, it was 10. Nine. Since we did the first one. Oh yeah, true. Sorry. That's okay. What's your name? Klein. <laughs> it's Klein. You're Klein. Your name's Klein. You're not Klein. It's Klein. It's Klein with an N. Moral of the story is you gotta just go for bushwalks. Get in touch with nature. Feminine. <laughs> Fuck, I think we've gone too far this yeah, podcast. We, we fucking had too many drinks. We, we drank on the job. We drank on the job. We shouldn't be... I drove. No, I'm not. Hey? Who said that? <clears throat> That's not a DJ Simmer. Okay. Uh, w- uh, part of the shit talk is, of course, uh, one of our favorite parts. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to throw this blood tissue at Matt. All right. Michael just threw a blood tissue at Matt and it missed him. But like Matt, Matt's eyes went like this. So he like fluttered a little bit. <laughs> So the uh, wind, I made you wind. So uh, every week, uh, Matt comes in at what was it, thirteen, fourteen hours of research for these four facts. This isn't speculation; these are four facts that Matt Brown has found. He searches the internet, and he finds out things that have happened on this day in the past century. And let me tell you some shit, okay? You wouldn't believe. Some of the facts that he finds out, like I struggle to believe it. But then after the podcast, I like talk to him. I'm like, dude, was that real? And and he shows me and it's all real. Everything I'm about to say is 100% true. On this day. Oh. It hurt my ear. In 1962. Stop Stop that. How do you fix it? No. Fucking Don't. Let me fix it. No. We're similar. Don't. See that? So Can that, you fix that's it? That's your fixer. 
Be similar. Be On similar. this day in 1962, Jim Carrey was ass fucked by himself. He pushed his erection in between his legs and curled it just enough to penetrate his rim, although he denied it doing it. Further proof of his ass fucking was when there was a shit spray pattern on his bedroom wall when the shit flicked off the tip of his dick as it, uh, the erection popped out of his own ass. Do you reckon if you're going to fuck your own ass, would you have to put it in forcibly flaccid? No, it wouldn't reach. Don't no, say... No. You'd, but then somehow get you erect. Could stretch it and put it in and then get hard. <laughs> but then the, the struggle becomes keeping it in as the blood engorges the erectile tissue. Because it would pop out. How did you do that? Well, it, he, was, he showed me he was so, sitting at a certain angle. So his face was pressed against the ground. His ass was in the air. And he used his two fingers to bend his erection into his ass. Great party trick, kids. If you're bored at kick-ons... Just pull out the hole trying to finger your dick into your ass and you'll be a god. Maybe. I've, uh, it may be. I've, I don't yeah, I don't, I don't, we don't endorse that. <clears throat> On this day in 2006, Tiger Woods awoke from a 14-year coma and had no recollection of any of his golfing wins or that he even knew how to play golf. All his golfing su success happened while he was in a coma. Doctors call it a golfma and it's only ever happened once. Fuck you. That is... I slipped. I slipped. Blood I is the worst out of all of your wastes that come out of you. <laughs> there's shit and piss out there. And now there's blood on your skin. That is sick. I slipped. Michael's just wiped blood on me. Yeah, because of the knife. Yeah, I guess that's why you should have wiped it on me. Because of the knife you threw. On this day in 1956, Mother Teresa was charged with prostitution. <laughs> but managed to get the charges dropped when she posed nude for the arresting officer. Mother Teresa was maybe a slut, Matt Brown says. <laughs> Matt Brown there, that's a... And, I, you know, I check them. I check these facts and it's all true all the time. I've opened myself up. You're wiping it on me. No, on my shirt. Shami's going to be so angry at you, eh? Great memories, though. Oh, sorry. Making, making make, memory, make making memories. On this day in 1995, Tony Robbins swallowed an entire baby whole. He was seen dislocating his George, uh, jaws and sliding the eight-month-old into his gaping mouth hole. When questioned on the matter, he simply says "powerful" in Spanish. You said this before, <laughs> Matt from Wholesome. Some other fucking Hitler put a baby in their throat from a previous podcast, or am I? It must be like a thing, a powerful person thing. I don't know, but um, did anyone see the uh, monkey steal the toddler? Yes. On the news? Makes you think that... Quite interesting. The what? They grabbed the toddler and just took it yeah, away. A little, a baby, little... a, a monkey stole a baby. A rapist taught the monkey how to steal babies and drag it back to the rapist's lair. That's what I think. Yeah, I've done basically it. Basically, it rolled up they on a little that. bike I've done that. and jumped off and grabbed a toddler and started dragging it down the street. Did it kill it? No. I mean, the kid, no. the no, thing, no. So, the fucking But they were so thing. casual about it. The parents were so casual. The, some old dude just half ass walked after it and was like... I question how real it is. You reckon? Do you know them? Have you met? Are you them? Matt was. No, just, just, Matt the way was. The, just the way the baby's body is when it gets dragged, it, it puts some questions up. And yeah, but I hope it's real because it's interesting. I wish you could see his face when he talks because he's so cute. Mm, he's got a big, thick beard now. He's so cute right now. Mm. <laughs> he's been wholesome -ified. Always flirting with us. He's been wholesome -ified. He's always like touching himself behind the camera. Do you really? Oh, yeah. See? He admitted it. Um, all right, that is the end of our shit talk, which leads us to our next segment. Oh, there's been a segment, name change. Look at the blood. Look at my blood. The next segment has been renamed to... <laughs> which is I'm fucked in reverse. And in this segment, all we do is answer questions that you guys have sent in via Instagram. Michael? Quick, 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 get to it. Oh man, I'm. Uh, should we do this tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next week. If you were not the best, would you still be the best? So when are you? When you say you are the best, does that mean you are actually the best or not the best while still being the best? And that's from Spicy Underscore Frog Fifty One, mate. Like I get people's curiosity about like how we're so good, 
but it's just you're born with it. We've answered it many times. We're, you, you're, you're the best, and you are the best. When there are days though where you're like half ass. Yeah, but overall, overall, it's just you know you're the best, and, and like yeah, there, there's no, you know, when we say we are, when we say we, like we're, we're always. Mondays I'm born okay, with it. but the rest of the week I'm fucking. Yeah, we're born with it, the best, and that's really all there is to say about that. So, twenty minutes. Matt's holding up a sign that says twenty minutes. Next question, and he's showing off. From- that's his just writing times for how long he's had sex before. That's his PB. <laughs> 20 minutes? That's pretty good. That's not bad, Matthew. Brown. There would be no girls that listen or watch our shit. Dude. Imagine a girl being like watching our shit for 10 minutes. She'd... Imagine if Aaron That'd was a girl. That'd be sexist. Imagine You're being sexist. If Aaron was a girl, you'd be in handcuffs right now for what you did to him. <laughs> and that is you being sexist. There's an arsehole on my screen. <laughs> oh, by the way, people sending Matthew Brown fucked up shit. Like, <laughs> you did it. Okay, it's done. We don't need to... Stop hurting him. He's he's not the man he used to be anymore. He hasn't said a word since, since last Monday. What you sent him is not only not okay, it's illegal. Uh, there was an axe hacked into a woman. It was a blunt axe. And it hit her head... Caved it in, shattered the skull. I didn't see it, but you told me about it. Yeah, well, why were you wanking off to it then? That's not a DJ. Stole my life, life. On the floor. So this week, we want you guys to send Matt Brown your talents. So yeah. if your talent is like wanking and coming really quickly, send him that. If your talent is filling jars of breast imagine, milk imagine really quickly, a whole fist if in you the fucking bum. had a baby a whole, and you want to fucking fill a jar with your own tit milk fist really fast, bum. you can fucking do that. If your yeah. talent is sprinting up a hill as fast as you, just send him your talents, hook, hook whatever it is. with relatives and film it with and tongue. send it to him. He likes that, I think. If you are a nurse at a retirement village and you like to just see how many hairs you can pull out of the old people without them noticing. Because they got Alzheimer's. That's your talent, then do that and send, send it to him. Send talents. Matt's whispering something to his friend. Let's see if we can make out what they're hearing. Aaron's being actual Aaron. All right. Let's see if we can read what they just said. They were being business chats. All right. All right. Next question well, is from um, uh, Buddha. And he has said, damn you to hell. This question is from Aaron Hargis Photo. Would you rather swallow a shot cup full of Jackson's diarrhea or dip for 10 minutes with your mum's pubes? Dip for 10 minutes with mum's pubes. Easy. Just put your body in, meditate, go somewhere else and just deal with it. We've all been there. We all have we'll been- We'll all go back one day. When you're fucking coming out of your mum's hole- You've had you're, sex. You're basically fucking- You've had sex. You're basically basking in her pubes anyway. You've had anyway. the most intense sex fucking ever. sick cunt. You've not only fucked her, you've headed her, you've fisted her, you've bodied her, you've hipped her- Every part of you has been in her. There's fisting and then there's bodying. And I was we've cesarean. all done it. I was a cesarean, so I have never been. My mum actually life. laid an egg and me and my brother came out of the egg. So, yeah, <laughs> we weren't traditional births either. German. Yeah, that's how Germans give birth. <laughs> Next question is from Stay Wild, America. So, if you get into a fiat fight with someone and knock them out, does it make you a weirder or does it make them your bitch if you kiss... On he meant fist when you said fear. When you get into a fist fight with someone and knock them out, does it make you a weirdo or does it make them your bitch if you kiss on them? Piss on them? I don't know. I stitch that question. That's a shit question. No, I, I think we should um, answer it for what it is. And uh, the answer is... Violence uh, is no. b- good, bad. No? I think it... No. See, that bum hole always comes up. Show them. Yeah, why? Is that the Dude, same? Yeah, I've got there's like four accounts every yeah, time they send this bum they're hole. me with it too. Why? Someone has... That's s- you. Dude. Someone must have told people to send us an asshole. Or did we ask people to do that? Probably. I don't remember anything. I can't remember there, who I am. There might have been a time where we asked people to... S- Bosley? Bosley? Bosley. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy, Bosley. Cute. Okay. Cute. Okay. Oh, he BL, he just BL Baudois has said, where's the craziest place you two have ever had sex? Well, you were fucking that baby corpse in that dumb stuff. That was pretty weird. That's not true. Like a car or cinema, maybe. Yeah, I the can't. cinema, that packed cinema. We're Stuart Little too. Children's movie, yeah. yeah. People <laughs> saw us. People saw us. Yeah, there were lots of families awkward. in there and we shouldn't have fucked. 
but we did. Yeah, we couldn't help ourselves. We were a bit tipsy. We'd we had a bit too much popcorn. Oh, we were a bit hot and heavy. <laughs> we were a bit hot and heavy. No, that was, of course, with Michael's sister. Chair. Next oh. question is from JL Graham, 80X. If you had to fuck two people and their combined age was 28, how old would each one be? Oh, that's a hard No, nah, it's not that hard. I'd go, uh, <laughs> I'd go 27 and then one. Because a one-year-old... Won't remember. It's not going to remember. That's fair. That's fair play. And like you just put the... Oh, it's hard to say. But full pen, you could kill it. Yeah, so you'd have to be careful and maybe just thumb your flaccid in and then just take it out and that's the counts. <laughs> We're going to hell. We're going to hell. This is hell. Now you have to answer it to 14-year-olds at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> the Turk smirk. <laughs> Next question. Wait. No, you have to answer that. I dip my toe into this <laughs> pedophilia pool. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to answer it to my sister. I'd go eight and eight. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck two eight-year-olds And then you'll have a few years left <laughs> Oh my And remember Is this illegal? This is just This hearsay, hearsay is justice comedy. If we were asked the question We try and answer it Because if you don't answer it You die That's the whole What would you rather complex And that's We will die If we don't answer these like we have a like we a deal will all with die. Lucifer. It's gonna happen. Like we actually we have like a written contract with like the devil. Like I know we, it's hard to wrap your head around, but like we literally have a laminated contract. On we the only fridge. get like a hundred years in fire. We have you to guys answer get the eternity, fools. Here's a question for Ringworm Marty. What what happened to the tattooed eyebrow that said dare or slap? As soon as I was done, I ran to the bathroom and got a scour and scrubbed as hard as I could. But as the eyebrow hair was growing back, there were some faded letters left. So I, I assume if I shave my eyebrow, we'd um, see the letters. So where's your razors? Are we here? <laughs> Next question: How much would you pay f- for two for jousting sticks? Are we here? <laughs> that is the best call. Now I'm going to use that all week. Are we here? How much Mitchelton underscore has asked, how much would you pay for, for jousting sticks? Two of them slightly used. Oh, I'd pay four thousand dollars. <laughs> the fabrics of the podcast are being torn apart. <laughs> Think about it. That's the dumbest thing you could say. <laughs> Next question is from J underscore Dan 34. Oh Marty, what would you do if you caught Michael <laughs> fucking a cow? I'd become a primary school teacher. <laughs> Why? That image would force me to become a primary school teacher. So what, you can fuck him and I can't? No, you can. It's just, it will force me to become a primary school teacher. Would you, if I told you that I'd fuck cows, would you be a bit pissed? Nah, that's I, a no. I, I don't, I don't, look, I, look, no. I don't know. <laughs> I okay, don't know, right? it might be a yes. All right, so, like, all right. Why, 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 why are you guys asking this? <laughs> we huh? live in a barn, there's one cow. Yeah, not a good start. <laughs> <laughs> primary school teaching. Monday to Friday, primary school teaching. What about Sunday school? Dairy farmer. Oh my God. Are we here is the best line I've ever heard in my life. Next question is from Rona Krevenka. <laughs> question for the podcast. When are you bringing Shami in your podcast? Uh, next Wednesday. He's here right now. Shami's coming next Wednesday. Is he? Mm-hmm. All right. That is the end of our uh, Q&A segment. Louder. Aaron. Which, of course, brings us to our next segment. Oh, yeah, dude. I've, All right, okay, just wait. No, yeah, no, just I've wait got, till I do one. the intro and we'll do the segment name change. And one, then. Go on, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Again. We, got the, we got the ever growing popular stunt time segment, which has been renamed to. I'm bleeding. There's blood. <laughs> Stop! 
And this is a segment where we just Don't basically, uh, Michael and I do a stunt equally, both same amount of pain, same amount of risk. It's both of us doing the exact same risky thing uh, for your entertainment. Are we here? Let's. Are we here? <laughs> Are we here? All right. Oh, man. All right, Michael's uh, leading stunt time and okay, rehearsing is, for no, stunt time. He's cut stunt. himself and blood all over his shirt. If you're watching stunt, on YouTube. The stunt this week is seeing how quick you how can long dodge you can kiss. spit. So you're going to spit and I'm going to use Matrix shit because I've watched all three. Matt? He has. I've seen him watch all three. Matt, so write gonna, that down. Write that from, down, Matt. I'm going to, from Neo, do one shit and go bang. And dodge it, and you'll see it on cam. All right. So I guess if you're trying to dodge it, then I'll do the spinning, and then that way it's like even. It's part and parcel. Well, yeah. I, like, right. if if you want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Well, as long as you're doing the dodging, like I don't mind doing the spinning, which sucks for me. Like I have to do the spinning. Yeah, it's a lot of energy. But like, as long as like as long as we do it, like I'm, I'll do it this week. As long as you do the fucked up thing next week. All right. That's fair. Let's let's shake on it. You don't want to shake my blood? No. Th- no. Th- <laughs> no. Th- all right. So um, I'll count down from three and then spit uh, Make sure into you your face. Get all the golly shit. I'll do my very best. Because it's energy, it's vibrations and stuff. Um, you know? Michael, just move your microphone away when he has a shot at you. So Michael's going to be uh, like a cobra, and I will be an angry person at a convenience store <laughs> who's just bought out of used milk date <laughs> and I'm trying to return it and this person saying you don't have a receipt you can't return it alright wait let me pop up like you're popping <laughs> <laughs> that was unfair <laughs> alright we got five attempts we're do it again okay <laughs> fine we'll do it again alright so the first attempt Michael would have failed to dude you're not being here he's right so let me be a cobra I want to pop up like a cobra all right, uh, so Michael's just gotten under the table and he will slowly coil up like a cobra. So wait like 10 seconds and let me be a snake. I'll count to 10. Because I've got a channel. I'm actually a snake right now. All right, he's, I can see he's laying eggs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, he couldn't dodge that one. That one hit him smack bang in the middle of the face. All right, one more time. One more time. Okay. Fuck it. Like, Fine. yes, Sorry. yes. I'll take one for the <clears throat> for the team here. So be more cobra like this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll use my S- spit. I'll use my spit. I'll be here. Yuck. You, that's you. Yeah, it's my spit. You just wiped on me. Don't do that. It's not <laughs> fair. Those aren't the part of the rules. <laughs> Cobra in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, dude, you're good at that. It's like a shotgun. It sprays out. It's impossible oh. to dodge. This is sick. Oh. Our podcast is spitting on each other and wiping blood. There's a hole in our green screen. Yeah, Connor better fix that. It's okay. It's okay. It's Matt. okay. We've got an editor. He'll right. fix this. Just pull more down and it just keeps being out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. And that is a scientific fact. Oh, man. I feel all wet. I feel all wet. Okay, and that's stunt time for this week. <laughs> that was... I'm bleeding still. All right, guys, we've got uh, one of our most popular popular segments now coming up. There is, of course, a name change, but let me just quickly go and get it. Actually, I'll do the name change first. The new <laughs> segment has been renamed to. I got a giggle out of you then. The PO unboxing, <laughs> and it's just we open shit that you guys have sent into this PO box. And we open it and we talk about it and you guys send shit in. So feel free to keep sending shit in, okay? Because we love this segment. This segment's our favorite segment. So guys, just keep sending shit in. We uh, we didn't. We were too lazy to go to our PO box just before. So uh, we've only got the one thing. Let me just quickly go get it. Are you there? Are you there? It's just like uh, the real shit. 
Okay, so uh, sent to us in the PO box uh, this week. We have this. It's a, uh, like a cylinder type shape. Uh, we're of course uh, lying. We I just quickly ducked off and uh, put this uh, aerosol can in, just wrapped it in a bit of toilet paper. But uh, just for the segment, we're going to pretend wind. that you it's guys windy. sent this in, and uh, so let's unwrap it and see what's inside. Hairspray, it's hairspray. Ah, uh, Schwarzkopf. Extra care hair styling. Oh, it's hairspray. Someone sent us hairspray. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I think that's how you. Let me just check the instructions. <laughs> Spray for hair from approximately thirty centimeters away. All right, so that's how you use it. I need something. Hurry up. <laughs> in front of you, in front of you. Well, right, whoever, whoever sent that in, uh, thank you. Uh, hairspray. We don't really use hairspray. Do you use hairspray? But oh. thank you. Oh, it's alive. We'll put it to use. <laughs> what happened there? I was concentrating on the wind outside. On the wind the, outside? There was breezes. I saw the trees moving. Oh, fuck. The medic's coming to have a look. Oh, my God, dude. What did you do? That was a bad, bad stay. I shouldn't have stayed. And that's the PO unboxing segment. Oh my god. Oh god. You remind me of a cow when you have that spotted tea towel on your head. <laughs> Let me dab at you. Dude, it stinks. Everything sucks in my face area. <laughs> Fuck! You can't tell me that that tea towel doesn't look like cow skin. Big fat dairy cow. Dude, something's happened to my face. I Big think. belly full of grass. What did you do? That's me now. Oh, that's, a, oh, that's, that's the PO unboxing segment, and don't you forget it. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa, that was a cow. I get it now. God damn. Get All right, guys, that uh, leads us to our last segment. Hang on. Let's. um. Let's read what Jackson O'Doherty just texted me and said, uh, did Michael shit? That's so funny. All right, let's uh, get into the last segment of the day. Matt's about to hold up a sign that says 40 minutes. That's what I think. That reminds me of Christmas. That's what happened. All right, the last segment of the day is has been, uh, it's, it's called the prank call segment, all right? It hasn't been renamed. It's just, it's that's what it is and that's what we're doing, okay? You guys send in your pranks and like a little backstory and we fuck really <laughs> I feel like it's hairspray on my face <laughs> I feel like that <laughs> I'm wondering if your eyelashes are going to be all hard now oh I just poked myself in the eye accidentally though okay. pardon are you there <laughs> <laughs> is this this <laughs> Alright, what's the prank call? Alright, see you next week. <laughs> Daniel underscore O'Hare has said my cousin has been disregarding coronavirus safety measures and has been visiting friends and not using hand sanitizer, wearing a face mask, or keep, or keeping even a meter away from anyone. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Hey, Malcolm, are you Malcolm? So I'm going to pretend to work for the government and I'm going to say that 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 someone with the coronavirus you have to listen that, that you someone have to with the coronavirus app. Has tested positive to coronavirus, and, you've and been he. In the precinct. You have been, you've been in, in the close precinct. proximity. The precinct. Five days ago. Aaron, it's the precinct. What's that word mean? All right, here we go. I'm calling him. Shut your fuck. Hello, Callum speaking. Hey, Callum, mate. It's just uh, Malcolm here. I'm just calling on uh, behalf of the Australian government. Um, have you got five minutes to talk, mate? Bit of a weird one. No, sorry, my work. No worries. When are you finishing, mate? Love to have a quick, just a very quick chat with you. Just uh, regards to uh, the coronavirus app, you've been exposed to someone. Uh, 5 p.m. 
5 p.m.? No worries, mate. I'll um, give you a call in about five minutes. Wait, is that 5 p.m.? Oh, it's two. Um, let's Eastern say 5.30. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Eastern Standard Times, or are you on the uh, Great Ra- Great Dividing Range time? Um, Eastern Standard Time. No worries. So oh, if I give you a call going? back at, in about five minutes, is that 5.30 on the Eastern Standards Time, or are you at the back? Wait. No, it's uh, 4.40 here, so call me in about an hour's time. Well, look, I-, I was just letting you know that you've been exposed to someone who's just tested positive for uh, coronavirus in the last five days, and... Um, <laughs> What, you, you're going to need to uh, go and get tested immediately. Oh, shoot. All right. Hold up. All right. Uh, keep talking. What's going on? Yeah, so, uh, so do you, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but uh, uh, people are downloading the uh, coronavirus app that the government has issued out. And um, so we've just had uh, a few cases confirmed uh, today, and uh, one of them actually had the uh, coronavirus app downloaded, and it appears that you were in very close proximity with them in the last uh, one to five days. And... Um, Okay, I only downloaded the app yesterday, so it's going to be within those two days. Yeah, well, it, 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 exactly right. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's it's picked it up, and you, you're going to have to go in and get um, tested as soon as possible. And uh, the, the the person that you have come into contact with is um is quite sick. So it's sort of um it's uh, pretty late pretty late in the progression for them but um yeah what we, we just sort of need everyone to sort of stop what they're yep. doing and head straight in um now have you been into clo- in close contact with anyone at your work today yeah i'm a truckie so i've had my offsider with me the whole day and i've delivered to about 15 different people yeah fuck it yeah look, look uh you, you're gonna have to that. they're, they're all gonna have to that. uh well, uh, as soon as as soon as you go into the doctors, they're going to know the the protocol to follow. But you're just going to have to jot down all their names and numbers, and bring them in with you. And they'll have to take okay. some take some blood tests, do some nasal swabs, and they'll also have to do an anal cavity swab just to make sure that you don't have any of the um, the coronavirus in you. How are your How are you feeling? In any symptoms? Any sort of cold or flu like symptoms? Any fevers? Um. Well, I was working in the rain last week, so I was. I felt like I was kind of fighting off a cold. Yeah. Um, that, that's been all good. I've got a little bit of a sore throat right now, but I just drank some refrigerated water and it's common for it to have that effect. So, you've had, so you, you, you're saying that you actually have a sore throat right now. That's actually the first symptom. Yeah, I know. And, and it's the sore throat and the coughing. Yeah. Um, have you I had, put it down as normal because I just drank refrigerated water and that happens often when I do. Yeah, right. Have you had any sexual intercourse with anyone over the last five days? Nope. Okay, um, my one guess that could blow it away is because I'm driving around a lot and I have the Bluetooth on while I'm driving. Is there a chance someone's been in the car and I've come into contact? Wait, just very, very it's possibly, airborne. mate. It's Look, we're, we're we're just sort of getting all the data just gets sent into us. You, who knows? You could have just driven past someone. You know what I mean? Like you might have even like been in actual close proximity with it. Do you know what I mean? Like you might have yeah. actually been standing right next to them. But the app, you know, we're just sort of trying. It doesn't tell us that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't quite tell us that you could have just driven past someone, but if you've got a sore throat and it's coming up, you've been flagged on the app as being close to someone in the last five days, you need to get in there immediately because there's a 85 to 90% chance that, that you've safety. actually got it's coronavirus and you need to tell all of your family and friends to stay the fuck away from you because you could all be fucked from this. I'm talking long-term lung damage and maybe even tumors. Lung damage in tumors, mate. All the new research is saying huge testicle tumors. Five G, five G and shit. This doesn't sound overly professional, mate. Mate, mate, you don't, you don't, oh, you don't know what you're get dealing with, me, man. Fucking get, get in there, man. Fucking get in there and get it all checked before the fucking button hits the roof. You're starting to laugh now. I thought my uh, app would give me a notification if I ever came into contact. Mate, app, that app is it? fucked, man. That app is fucked. Delete it, cunt. That's clicking all your fucking resources and information, bro. You need to know something, all right? You you aren't... This this isn't real. You are living in an alternate reality. It's a simulation. This is a simulation and we are the owners. And we're coming to collect. Say sorry, say sorry. You say need to apologise to me, otherwise I won't take this any further. Snapping at me. The jaws of death. 
No, you're actually on a prank call for on the Marty and Mark. Oh, you shouldn't have fucking told him. Fully actual podcast. One of your mates sent your number in and he's trying to stitch up. <laughs> You shouldn't have told him, dude. He needed to know. I could. We were losing him. We were losing no, him. No, there's no way you guys were gonna be uh, from the government if you're swearing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, we weren't very yeah. professional. Word when I said I'd been around 20 people. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to try and make it a bit more exciting, just to see what you'd say. He was being frantic. You're, oh, you did it right at first. No, that, that wasn't no, so bad. no, you did good. Your uh, your mate Daniel uh, sent yeah, your number in. Yes. Oh my god, that was. I'm like fully hard right now. Thank I'm you for fucking... being a good sport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, dude. Be strong and stay stay swim. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. I, I, that was we just fully winged that then. Like I thought you were gonna hang up. I thought you were gonna hang up early on. No, that's not the one. I downloaded it yesterday. You at work, my ass. Oh, that was good, dude. Thank you for that. <laughs> no oh worries. my god. That be, was... be strong and stay wise, and never drink the fruit of the labors until you reach the end. <laughs> right, <Ooh. laughs> I didn't like that. You ruined it with that last one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah If you've got symptoms Just go to bed Download the app Get tracked If you don't You'll get This tracked. podcast is proudly Brought to you by The University of Michael If you want to support The podcast Just go and subscribe To the website You get That's hours, a- hours of free content Look, You can never see is, it Anywhere else This is only $50 yeah, Don't buy our merch Do not buy the merch Just subscribe <laughs> to the website That's only 50 bucks yeah, Don't even show it That's only 50 bucks We're not showing that anymore From now on We don't show our merch anymore On the podcast Just subscribe to the website Be strong and stay wise And don't ever forget That we I'm not saying it this week. You're the best. Yeah. We'll say it once. Watch this. Watch this and watch it. Watch this and watch it. Are you watching this? Yeah, sh- sh- fuck off. Watch it. No. 